Hey boys and girls, welcome back to Bug Fables. In the last episode, we fought off against the goddess Venus in a no-holds-barred match in order to prove ourselves worthy of taking our ancient artifact, which just so happens to be the ancient script that leads to the everlasting sapling. With our next adventure now only just beginning, we head forward towards the Kingdom of the Bees to obtain our third artifact, an ancient key that's currently being used as a core for the honey factory production line. Which means that we need to actually go and get that core, because based on what we know, that's definitely going to be leading us ever closer to the Everlasting Sapling. But, with things that we've been doing recently, I actually finally, finally got to do some, well, training, but I also, also did some exploration. And, I actually found out a couple things that we might want to do first before we actually go over and try and make our way to the Bee Kingdom, which I actually did find the direction I think I need to go for that. But, with that being said, this is actually something I ran into because one, um, well, it caught me off guard when I was off doing my own thing, and I actually had to reload my old save just so I didn't lose it. But, with that being said, let's continue with our story. Hmm, news. Uh, news, you say? Um, Todd, Todd, come on, it's lunchtime. Um, 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 can you play a bit longer? Um, sweetie, you need to eat. It'll, it'll give you a, the power you need to play all day. I made you your favorite, a tasty, hearty breakfast. Um, well, thanks, Mom. Okay. And honestly, the reason why, um, I kept this is because of this part that I noticed. Uh, leave who's weirds? Hmm, that's all, wife. Uh, your wife, but leave this. Hmm, impossible. Oh, Ben, she's gotta be your super mega granddaughter. Uh, that's right. Isn't it great? You meet up with your relatives. Hmm, no, not at all. How can we face them like this? Um, lost a time not even understanding ourselves. Um, it can't be that bad. And then we're just a stranger if we were going to intrude on their life. We need to know the truth about what happened to us. Oh, we'll help you leave every step down this journey. Um, uh, yeah. And when we are ready, we can come back and meet them. Hmm, thanks. Um, let's keep an eye out for clues. We can't ignore our mission, though let's keep going. Even so, we're glad to see them safe and happy. <laughs> But yeah, the reason why, that was the reason why I made sure to reload my save, because that seemed heavily important. And, um, we actually can't go inside there, I did check for that as well, but we'll, we'll do the dialogue for that real quick. Hmm, not yet. We are not ready to face them. Uh, very well. Let's come back once we learned what happened to Snake Mouth then. Yeah, definitely. But yeah, that was one thing I noticed. And then this other one is not story-based, I think, but it is interesting because I did see it. I'm surprised I didn't notice it right away. And also I found out that um, Vi has a skill that we actually don't have unlocked yet because I got a medal for it, which was kind of funny. But um, I ended up buying a medal in the little metal shop down here. And apparently Vi gets um, needle skills, apparently, which is kind of interesting. But um, it, the metal adds poison poison attacks to your needle, apparently, which is kind of interesting. Which, I'll definitely use that, but I don't know how good it's going to be, but poison um, adding to our attacks is definitely pretty interesting. But the thing that I was actually wanting to tell you guys about was this. I'm surprised I didn't notice this, but there's actually an opening over here that we can use combo to get to. And if you go over to this bottle cap, there's actually some story here, which I'm actually surprised about, which I... I am, honestly don't know how I missed that, because we get, ended up getting that one that was in the Golden Hills, like, right away, so I'm surprised I didn't notice that right away. Kind of funny, but let's see what's going on here. Mm -hmm. What is this place? Um, hee hee, check this out. Knock knock. Um, who's there? Entry code. 2405. Um, last month's code is no longer valid after the incident. Please use the new code. Um, what? Hmm, that was great, Vi. Um, shut it. Um, hey, let me in. It's Vi. Ask Shades about me or something. Shades? There's no one here, unless you know the code. Scram. 
Oh, this place seems really shady. Knock? Um, knock knock? Uh, excuse me, what is this place? Um, why, you brought others with you. Oh, ha, huh, so you do know me. Open up now, or I'll tell everyone about this place. Seriously, I'll ruin you. Huh, wonder what it is. If it is shady, that is pretty weird. Um, try it, Vi. You won't last a night after you do. Um, eat. Okay, that's really shady, then. If we won't last a night if we ruin this, um, you know, the secret of this place. Huh. Definitely weird. I'm gonna say maybe... We did hear about something like she bought items from, like, a shady place. Maybe this might be the place. Just because of the fact that when we ran into the professor, the bee dude, in the, um, during the festival, the Venus Festival, at the Golden Outpost place, we ended up finding out that Bai ended up buying the Beamerang from some shady sellers. Maybe this could be it? I don't know, but it would make sense. Because then we would know where it is if she knows a code for some place like this. But maybe it's not as shady as we think. I don't know. I really don't know what's going on here for this place. But I have no way of opening it yet. I will tell you that. Oh, seriously, what is happening here? If you know what's best for you, you better stay away, all of you. Well, that was a fun detour. Thanks for your for the good time, bye. Um, poof. I guess we'll have to find the new code somewhere else. Maybe someone may help out comes here too. Er, um, sure. Well, let's not get too sidetracked, okay? Hmm. Definitely don't know who we have to go to, but I keep seeing these as well. These little, um, like, little circles of sand, like, almost everywhere. It's definitely something we can do with that, but I don't think that has anything to do with that, um, bottle cap, though. But definitely interesting. And then the one last thing that I did find is not something we're going to do today, but I do want to talk about it. And apparently there is a secret boss and I ran into it. Um, if you go into the Golden Hills and you go into the upper area where, um, where you're crossing over and you have to throw the beamerang to go upwards, there's an upper area above that where there's another platform and that platform actually leads to another area. And if you go back there, and go to the very back of that place, you can actually find a secret boss called the Devourer. And, um, I didn't beat him, mostly because I didn't want to beat a secret boss off episode. If I can do that on episode at some point, I would definitely like to do that, but definitely caught me off guard. Maybe we'll do it in the next episode or something, or after we do this chapter, because, yeah, it's definitely a pretty cool looking boss, because I was not expecting it. Um... I kind of expected it for a second because of the area that it's in, but it's definitely an interesting place though. But this is actually where I think we have to go, just based on the mapping of everything. And I- whoa, that was a weird attack, I was not expecting you to jump me like that, but okay. <laughs> but yeah, we need to make our way over here, I think. Just because, um, I did go over to the golden, um, the golden outpost for- to check for what we need to do. Actually, I want to fight one of these enemies, just so... Oh, I guess we kill it no matter what. Okay, I should probably take off that metal then, because um, it's one-shotting the enemy. And if we want to check out what kind of enemy that is, we need to take that metal off. But the thing is, is that I did go to that place for... Um, and apparently, if you go to the left side of the Golden Outpost, there is actually... You can find the honey factory and there's actually a door for it but you need special permission to go in there which apparently we don't have so i might have found where you come out of that chapter maybe because of the fact that that is there but i think for because of that being the case and there's no other way to there there's only one other direction we can go and that would be this way but let's see what's going on with this enemy though like i said the underling okay so what's going on with you mr underling since you are a new enemy. Um, the seedlings burrow. Ugh, it's gonna, gonna be karma for all those flying seedlings. Help me out, Leaf. <laughs> okay, then. Interesting. Let's definitely get ready for you. It says get ready, er, Leaf, apparently. Oh. Oh. So Leaf can attack underground enemies. Kabu can, can get rid of shielded enemies. 
and Vi can attack flying enemies. Interesting, I didn't even know that was a thing, but now we know about it. Okay, it makes sense, and because of the fact that the ice pillar comes out of the ground, it makes even more sense. Okay. Interesting. Huh. I'm actually surprised about that, because I actually did not know that was even an interaction in this game for the underground thing. But cool, that's definitely noted for later, for sure. But let's see here, we need to swamp or turn over, over to buy, and then make sure to throw the beamering, beamering just to get it out of the, out of the sky. Because, honestly, just in general, I don't think you can actually block the attacks where the enemies actually hug onto your character. I swear that I've tried to do that with the Weevil multiple times in between episodes, and I just don't think you can block it. You probably can, but you have to be like really, really careful with it, I think. But yeah, I'm definitely not sure, but ooh, Danger Spud, what's this? This dangerous toxic yam super sweet. Restores 1 HP to an ally at a price. Okay, interesting. Poison yam. Hmm. Okay, I'll well, definitely throw my bug me not back on just because there's no reason to fight those enemies because they're weak enough at the moment. We one shot them anyways, right? So might as well get rid of them. But let's see, we can either go that way or we can go this way. Well, there's ants here, so let's see what's going on. Oh, jeez. How does this bridge work? Where's the worker? Okay, let's see here. North is the Lost Sands, east is Metal Lake, Bagiria Pier, and Ant Kingdom on the west. Wait, Bagiria Pier? Wait a minute, we have something for that, actually. We, um, for Edel. Okay, well, let's make our way over to the pier then, because there's literally no reason to go here, because we had to turn in something for Edel at the pier. But what was it exactly? Because it's been a while since we got that quest, but it shouldn't be too hard to find it, right? Okay, so a friend of mine is in need of these parts to repair their trinket. I'm a bit swamped with administration work, though. Did someone meet them at the association, association and deliver them? It'll trust you with this package. Make sure it reaches the diver ants in Bagaria's Pier, east from the association. Okay, so diver ants. Oh, well, he looks like a diver ant. With these gadgets, I can put my face underwater and look around someday. I'll see the sea's hidden mysteries. Okay, it's definitely not him, but I'm gonna guess it's the guy with the explanation mark on his head. But gear you by chance, Ito's friend. Um, hi. Why something happened? Haha, <laughs> surprise, Sir Eatle's, um... Oh, Sir Eatle? Oh, I actually thought Eatle... Okay, well, apparently it's Sir Eatle. Got something for you. Yeah, we have this little package for you that we were told not to look inside. Um, ah, you got the thing, finally. Um, what is that? A super rare metal? Uh, just a part to improve my gear. You gotta thank Edel for me. Why'd he make such a big deal out of it then? Uh, what matters is it's been delivered safely. Um, what matters is reward. Combo with the important parts. Um, this should bout cover the walk. Thanks for the, for the two of you. Oh, metal. Okay, you got a crazy prepared metal. Prevents enemies from striking first down a battle. Okay, well that's pretty cool. We don't see why you'd want to go to water, but good luck with your gear. Yeah, you probably would get eaten by a fish, let's be honest here. Ooh, that's a cool little boat. <laughs> as well as the guy that I'm pretty sure runs the boat. This is my first time in this town, so that's pretty cool. <laughs> okay, Bulgaria Pier. It's got a couple little things. You got a chef, you got a boat, and some other things. Definitely interesting. What's this wheel about, though? What's this? Oh, it's... <laughs> okay, I was actually thinking it wasn't being read out. But let's see. Hmm, what's this? Um, we don't really know how to describe it. Um, it's a steering wheel leaf. Hmm, oh, what? Um, it's a drive boats around the water. Hmm, even when you explain it, it's hard to imagine how it works. Back then, boats were way simpler. Um, well, you do have to study a lot to drive a boat. Hmm, we feel quite outdated. Oh, uh, keep your head high, Leaf. There's so much to discover in this pier. Um, yay, learning. <laughs> yay, learning. That's exactly what I expected out of Vi. But, okay, so that definitely doesn't lead anywhere yet. And that seems like it would lead us somewhere drastically different if we can use that boat. I'm just saying, I feel like we would eventually run into a boat like that, but it does seem like, yeah, this definitely has to be the way we're going. If we have to use the stopping power of the beam ring to go here, 
it definitely is a new area for us to check for sure. Um, well, thanks. No problem. Hmm, we were stuck here for a while. Um, it wasn't much. We'll get going now. See you in Defiant Roots. Uh, be careful now. Defiant Roots, you say? Okay, well, we'll definitely make our way over. And actually, the Venus Buds here. I noticed it for half a second earlier, but I didn't mention it at all. Oh, hey, you two are three again. Oh, uh, Venus? Hee <laughs> hee, yes, it's me. I decided to help you with your quest. Oh, really? I'm surprised about that. Um, really? You're getting beat up stuff with us. I don't think so. Um, I'm not a combat goddess, but I can heal you up in no time. Um, you know for a small offering of eat berries. Fair enough. Um, what? Hmm, why would a goddess need money? Um, listen, Arya and my followers want to thrive in life too, and they, um, they are a way too, de too dedicated to me to get other jobs. So it's the least I can do for them. Besides, eight berries is nothing for adventurers like you. I guess fair. Well, it sounds like a fair deal, team. It helps us with Venus's followers. Um, mm -hmm. Just shove the berries in Spud's mouth when you want some healing, alright? Okay. Well, let's try it. Um, hey guys, Venus here. Have you come for healing? Just fork over eight berries. Okay, well, we'll heal us then. Um, here you go. Some Venus special healing. So we could use the ability of the Venus Buds healing that we saw in the battles a couple times. That's cool. Um, please come by again. I'm always up for chats. Okay, of course. I also saw the chat option too, so let's... Oh. Well, I don't want to waste that, but apparently we had just enough berries for that, apparently. I didn't even notice that, but... Okay. Um, head are the lost sands. There's monsters and bandits everywhere, and the sand makes everything way too hot. I'll try to support you as much as I can, but be careful as not even my roots reach all of the deserts. Makes sense. Okay, so if we want to- well, we're definitely making our way inside the Lost Desert then. So, let's definitely prepare ourselves. Huh, the Lost Sands. It's been a while. Oh yeah, we heard something about uh, good old Kabu making his way through the, the desert sands. <laughs> okay, so we're finally going to be able to see- well, how much knowledge he really has on that place. Oh, they're way too huge. It's gonna take ages. Ooh, it'd be nice if we could move just a bit faster. Uh, well, why not just run? The tab circle twice, me in front, I'll give it my all. Oh, really? So we have a new ability then? Okay, cool. Running. I'll take it. Um, blah. Whatever gets us out of there faster. Mm, we'll try to keep up Kabu. Okay, Kamu can now dash. Just double tap circle, press X or circle or circle to cancel the dash. Okay, Kamu can also now use dash through skill in battle. I'm guessing that would allow us to maybe. I'm gonna say maybe go for, um, what do you call it? Enemies in the further back areas in battle, which would be nice for Kamu because he can't normally attack them like that. So that definitely will come in handy. What's this person doing? Um, ah, the gate opens, but I can't go through the desert yet. I'm still preparing for my journey. If you plan on crossing the desert, keep in mind, it is much bigger than it seems. Everywhere you look, there's sand. Keep a mental map of where you plan on crossing. Okay, mental map, you say. Okay, well, let's make our way forward. And also try out this new attack, too. Since apparently, maybe we can attack with it? Nope, you can't attack with it. But it does dash pretty quick. But we also have a new enemy here, so let's devil... Definitely double check this guy. A Psycorp. Okay. Which is definitely, let's just say this now, it's definitely. Definitely, definitely, definitely a scorpion. But let's see what's going on here. Okay. So let's get a nice spy in. Let's see. Um, never did um, light these blasted Psycorps. Leave these when I should underhurt them. Oh, so we have another one that goes underground. We must be careful for they may faint before striking us with poison or sedatives. Okay. Interesting. So because it's going to go underground, let's definitely prepare for that. So let's just start attacking it normal. And it didn't go underground right away, so I guess it's not going to forcefully go underground. Unless it goes via attack out. Okay, so th that one's definitely blocking. You can definitely block that if you really want to. Let's see here. We need to unearth you for now. So let's definitely do that. So they do it on their own turn. That's good to know. 
so it's definitely much easier to deal with than the underlings that we saw earlier. So definitely noted for later, since that will come in handy. Oops, ow. I was trying to block that time, but apparently that's a little bit harder to block than I actually thought it was going to be. But it's, honestly, it's not a hard fire fight at all. Poison damage does actually damage quite a bit, but it's not as bad as well it could be, honestly. Because the spider was definitely much worse on the poison than these guys are. I'm gonna be honest, they, he did a lot more damage and a lot faster too on top of the poison. So I can definitely deal with a little bit of poison like that though. And also, what's with the giant's um, shovel? Huh, that's interesting. But let's see here. Let's make our way upwards, I think. It said keep a mental map, so let's make our way upwards and try and just go in one direction maybe. That would definitely lead us to where we want to go. And just because this guy's a little bit harder to... Jeez, this guy's actually quite hard to actually hit. But let's just leave him alone. Underlings are... What the heck? A cactus? Um, hello buddy, what are you doing? I was not expecting to get attacked by a cactus today, but apparently we are cactuling. Okay, well let's deal with the underling first. Just because this guy is a little, you know, he definitely likes to run from battle quite a bit, so we'll definitely go for him first. Okay, three damage. Is that enough to get rid of him? Probably not, but we can turn order and get rid of him. So we're still good on that one, so we'll just go to Leaf, and then we'll just go for a free knockout on this guy, and then we'll deal with Captain Ling later, because obviously we can't do any more attacks this turn. And get ready for a block. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, so it spins around and you want to try and block at a perfect time. Is this actually a defensive enemy? Um, can't tell because we've never spied it, but I guess we'll find out. So let's see here, what's going on with you? Um, incredible. Truly believe this to be a cactus. What an impressive disguise. Yes, so, two defense, so yeah, it would have been better to use Kabu there to drop the defense. Uh, still what stands in our way. I shall flip it over. Let's go, team. <laughs> let's go indeed. Let's see here. Maybe the defense might not be a problem here. Let's see here. Might as well see. Yeah. Okay. Our magic doesn't- Oh, that was a weird attack. I was not ready for that, but apparently I blocked it without even trying to. But okay then. Interesting attack. And now that it's on its belly, we can start doing some real damage to it. And I somehow actually missed that. Even though I swear that was actually still on it, but okay. <laughs> well, down goes the captain wing. Seven experience. Not bad. And also, two new enemies to note for later. That Psycorp thing I think is more dangerous, but the Cacting Ling seems pretty interesting though. Um, Quicksand, can I fall? Oh, I can fall into it. Okay, I was wondering if we couldn't actually go in there or not. So we got new traps here. Um, some kind of thing going over there, some kind of weird shroom. And other than that, I don't know of a way to get over there, but that doesn't mean we can't. Can we head our beam ring on that? No, we can't. Okay, so that's a definite no. So let's make our way to the right then, and see where we are from here. Oh, we're back here. Okay, so that means left and down don't take us anywhere, but right might. You never know. Ooh, metal. That's definitely a metal. And let's actually go for a free Kabu attack here, because we get double Kabu here if we do it like this, without having to swap, swap out here. Definitely worth going for, that's for sure. Okay, let's knock you over. Let's go for Vi here, because we know Vi can do quite a bit of damage pretty fast, too. But, let's see here. We definitely want to get rid of this guy first, just because of the fact that Psycorp with the poison can get a little dicey, for sure. But definitely not too bad of damage. But let's see here. There we go. Okay. So that's how you block that one. Just right before the hands go up. Or basically right when the hands go up is when you want to try and block. Okay, seems easy. Okay, I think I got it from here, for this enemy at least. But honestly, I could probably still get hit by it just because my timing can sometimes be off, I'll be honest there. But definitely, I think I'm getting used to that enemy, I think. But what the? A red key. Okay. Red key, you say? There's a big lock in front of you. Definitely can't do anything with us. But that doesn't mean that we're out of luck. But how do we get over there, though? Because that's some metal. Can I get on? Oh yeah, I can definitely get up here. Okay, we'll do what we did with the other thing, with the little um, big crank earlier, where we were able to throw our beamerang and grab that crank piece. But let's see here. You found an HP plus metal. Oh, 
Another one, okay. So now we have another HP plus. That's definitely gonna come in handy at some point. But who would we throw this one on though? Maybe... Maybe Vi? Or maybe even Leaf again? Leaf with the extra HP seems really smart. Oh, another cactus guy. <laughs> Hello, buddy. Well, we'll knock you down and we'll definitely attack you, since the experience we're getting from those guys are definitely worth it. But since we're noticing that the side corp is actually more dangerous, we'll actually focus on him, just because of the fact that it's, I feel like the damage this thing does is a lot more dangerous than the captain, for sure, just because of what we've seen from the um, strikes from it. And this is a little bit easier to block, honestly. And honestly, one damage is less than a problem, and I forgot it has two defense. Oops, I probably should have thrown Kabu in front there instead of going for that, but you know what? Because we haven't used any skills yet, we can definitely go for one. Let's go for Frigid Coffin here, and this should be a decent amount of damage on this guy. And just like that, down goes Cackling, and not an extra turn added to that. 12 experience points, not bad at all. And actually, do I feel like we're ready for to throw that hard mode metal on? Mm, probably not. Oh, the, the researcher guy from... Where's the professor, though? Hey, buddy. What are you doing out here? My research points to a relic being in the area, but I've hit a dead end. Could there be a path I haven't noticed yet? A relic's in here? Really? Huh. Well, I don't see anything, bud, but if you say there's one here, I don't know where it would be. Can you go behind here? Maybe. Oh, we can. Okay. Does it lead anywhere? No, it doesn't. Okay. Well, <laughs> I felt like it would lead somewhere, but no, nope, not at all. <laughs> what was worth the shot, honestly? Well, let's see. Let's definitely check around for a second, just because they did say something like that. I keep seeing these rocks, by the way. These are definitely breakable because of the fact that, what do you call it, Kabu can hit them like this, but it's... I don't think we can break them at the time being, though. Maybe if we had, like, a stronger attack? But I've ran into, like, three of these by now, and I feel like you can probably break them just because they move the way they do. But... Okay, this is an interesting area. Don't think we need to go that way. I think we're, we have to go where that researcher is, just because I don't think he'd be too far away from home base, I would think. So maybe this might lead to the Bee Kingdom. Let's definitely take a look, since it's worth a shot. Nope, didn't lead there, but definitely seems like we're making progress. So let's just keep going upwards, I think. Oh, Zodi Pop. I'm joking. <laughs> I don't I don't normally call them Zodi Pops, but <laughs> I felt like that was a perfect time to say it. But it's interesting. Oh. What's going on over here? Um hello? What's going on here? Hmm. You're Team Stinkmouth, aren't you? You did Aria ceremony. Yep. What's going on? Um, that's us. Um, nice. We're fellow explorers too. Ever heard of us? We, I think we saw you for a second. Uh, give me what I've heard. Are you Stratos and Delilah? Um, yep, that's us. I'm Delilah, and this is Big Guy Stratos. Um, mm -hmm. nice meeting ya. Huh, okay. So Delilah and Stratos. And Team Slacker. Multi even Walton. Um, you're known as Team Slacker, correct? Famous for never ever finishing missions. Really? With a guy that big and the big saber that he has, he hasn't finished a mission? That's weird. No mission's interesting for long enough. Why bother finishing them? And you still call yourselves explorers? Um, of course. We love exploring. No place is out of reach. Um, nice. It sounds like Bai's type of exploring. We're more like informants, yeah? For the other explorers. We gather intelligence about tough quests so other teams can do them, and they still need it. Well, kinda cool. We think this here's the fabled sandcastle. Sandcastle, you say? So this must be where the... that artifact that that researcher was looking for, but not the researcher we're currently looking- or, well, artifact we're currently looking for. But, is this a secret artifact then? Because... if they're telling us about an artifact outside of a chapter, that's kinda interesting. Um, what? This brick? Well, yes, this tablet's just waiting for its secret to be unearthed. Um, you think it's just gonna come out of the sand? Um, maybe. No clue what's on inside it, though, but what good castle has no treasure? True, I guess. Huh, interesting. Hmm, so how does it come out? Um, sorry, we don't know yet. And when we do, we've got a telling it, Queen. Um, 
Oh. So we're definitely coming here in a further chapter. Oh, they're definitely living the dream. Hmm, looks like Sokka ain't quite the name for them. Uh, so, that's how things work. Well, now take care of your submission. I'm sure we'll meet again when we do figure things out. Okay, of course. Didn't get to read what both of them said, but... Interesting, Sandcastle. Okay, so we know an area for where maybe our next artifact might be. That's interesting. <laughs> Who even would have guessed that we'd run into that place? But definitely noted. <laughs> okay, so next to the soda pump leads to that. Oh, we're on the other side of one of these. Can we break this? We can. Okay, so how we open up the other one is we have to use Kabu. Okay. So... Well, this doesn't lead to anything. <laughs> okay, then. Um, unless we could see something from here, but... Okay, then. I'm guessing that doesn't lead anywhere. Maybe we can run on the quicksand? No, we can't. We definitely can't, but there is a bridge, though. So... Apparently, we can make our way easier through the desert if we use that. <laughs> okay. Well, we've checked that side. So let's make our way back to the left side, then. Since there's definitely a bridge we can open up over here, so we might as well open that for later, just so we have the easier passageway. Don't know why they need to have one of those, but apparently this is like the hub of this area, based on all the wooden panels that you can push over. And that must be the big area we saw earlier then. <laughs> okay. Interesting layout for this desert, though. But yeah, this is definitely quite a big place. Um, is there another area over on the right side, then? No nothing whatsoever. But that doesn't mean that we're in a bad situation. Why does that look like you can climb that? Yeah, I feel- yeah, I think you can climb that. Maybe. Let's see here. Let's see here. I don't think I can climb up this just because I don't think our jump is high enough, but I feel like that- um, that is like a stairway of some sort. Don't know why, it just feels like that. But let's see here. Let's definitely check out this bigger area now, since this definitely seems like a place we need to go to now. Now that I checked the other parts of the desert, just because I wanted to make sure to get like a good view of the area, just so we know kind of the lay of the land of this place, because we've never been here, and honestly, I want to make sure what we're doing before we just go running gung-ho into a new area without um, proper planning of where we're going, because it did say to make a mental map of the place before we even got in there. So I feel like, yeah, it's probably smarter if we do that, just in case, you never know. But let's see here. Wait for that. There we go. Good old ice pillar for you. Get ready to block. <laughs> Gotta try harder than that, bud. But let's make sure to use Kabu this time, since this will drop his armor by quite a bit. I actually didn't even notice, but if you look next to their health bar, I didn't even notice this. I I don't know how. I wasn't even paying attention. I was more paying attention to their HP, but you can actually see their defense as long as you spy them, which I'm surprised I didn't know that. It's just something I just didn't even was recognizing, just because I wasn't paying attention to that part. But apparently you can see the defense, which is actually nice to know. <laughs> but yeah, definitely good, because, you know, just in general it would be nice to know that more readily. Apparently there's another path that's locked off to us, but we can easily open up that shortcut. But yeah, this is definitely a hub of some sort, just to make sure to be able to go to different areas. Wasn't there a... yeah, over here. Thought we remembered seeing something. So let's definitely... oh, hello. Um, let's flip you over and make sure that you don't get the upper hand on me. Okay, we got one of those side corpses definitely burrowing already. Which is actually, I'm surprised they don't start that way normally. Because of the fact that, you know, every single time we ran into them to, up to this point, they weren't burrowing. So it's kind of interesting to see that they are now. <laughs> definitely cool. But let's see your turn relay into leaf to make sure that we get them out of the ground because we don't know if they do special attacks under the ground. Wait a minute, that's not an that's not what the enemy we thought that was. What is that? Okay, that's a new thing. Arrow worm. Okay, well let's definitely get him out of the ground because whatever he is, he's interesting. Um, let's see here. Let's definitely spy him so we know his HP for later. Let's see what's going on with you. Um, if I remember correctly, this local beast, um, always stays beneath the sand, waiting to devour their prey. 8 HP. Jeez, that's quite a bit for a small enemy like that. Okay. Its teeth are so sharp that they bite through stone. Leaves we will need your assistance again. Okay. Yeah, definitely. 
And because he actually did 3 damage when I didn't block him, let's definitely go for a normal attack here and go for maybe some big damage from the Ur Hurricane Toss. And it wasn't enough actually, surprised, but I did block that time, and it did 2 damage still. Okay, well it definitely still hurt, but at least we're doing some decent damage to it. I think it's actually focusing Leaf because it knows that we can attack him, and we actually got a level. Cool. <laughs> and we'll definitely take that because of the fact that now that we have the HP up metal, I'm definitely throwing that on. Because 1 HP for 2, honestly, I think this would be better, <laughs> let's be honest there. So we'll definitely grab the metal points then. Your pouch can now hold 3 more items, as well as total of 13... Oh! I didn't even notice it was increasing our, our, our actual item slots too. That's interesting, but we'll definitely take that because of the fact that metals would definitely be helpful for just HP in general. But who do we want that for? Probably even our, our HP, maybe? That sounds like a good idea, just for now. And then maybe later we'll figure out what we want to do with the rest of that. But let's see here, we have two points if we get rid of the other thing. Because it's not going to be useful at the moment, I think. But let's see here. I feel like maybe... Eh, we still don't have enough for the TP plus anyways. So maybe it's not that important. But we can throw on crazy prepares for now though. Prevent them from striking first out of battle. That'd be helpful, I think. But we'll definitely open up that pathway. So we now have this bigger area open up. And this will actually be technically our mental map in a way, I guess you could say. So we'll definitely keep that open. And then I guess we want to make our way that way, maybe? Where that flying... Whatever that is, actually, dragonfly? I think it's a dragonfly. I don't know if it's an enemy, but it's definitely some kind of dragonfly from what I can tell. But maybe I'm wrong. I'm thinking of Yanma, kind of, but it's, I'm not really sure. It kind of looks like that, but definitely interesting. Let's get the arrow worm out of the ground, because I'm definitely more afraid of that thing than the other enemies, to be honest. Well, oh yeah, we can use our new ability with Kabu here. Let's definitely try that. So, what was it? Um, dash through? Kabu charges forward, damaging all grounded enemies with his horn. This also flips enemies. That's pretty cool. Okay, so let's definitely try it. Press buttons shown in order. Bing, bing, boom, bing, bing, boom. Just like that. Not bad. Cool. And not bad at all. Definitely take that. And I'm pretty sure that's a button mash normally, because I actually change button mashings to be um, sequencing keys, since honestly I don't want to have to button mash in the episode, because it's a little bit harder to get rid of um, sound like that in my videos, because obviously I do know how to get rid of sounds, and I use, I've use i been doing it quite well, but honestly, button mashing is one of those things that's a little bit harder to do when it comes to that, but let's see here, it's definitely an enemy, for sure, just because of, yeah, that's definitely an enemy. Might as well check, because there's no reason not to early, because you never know with some of these. I wonder, can... it seems like when you spy with certain characters, it changes the dialogue a little bit, so... It's called a thief, apparently. Okay, well, let's see what's going on with Mr. Thief here. Okay, Mr. Dragonfly, what's going on? Hmm, adult, well, we've never seen a flying thief before. He steals food before anything else. Maybe if we give him enough of our Kabu snacks, he'll want to join us. Um, let's do him quickly then. <laughs> okay then. So apparently he'll steal my uh, my well my food items. <laughs> okay then. Interesting. Well, you're definitely not stealing any of that, but you can definitely try it. Let's do this heavy dash again. It seems like it does decent damage, honestly. Yeah, three damage to both enemies. It's not bad at all. Huh. Okay. Cool. I'll definitely take it. And it flips enemies too, so that's actually really good. And there we go. Got the block again. <laughs> Still getting used to that timing, but I'm definitely getting better at it since I've been able to actually block it twice now. So, definitely better, but definitely still needing, still a learning curve to me. Because obviously new enemies are going to take me a little bit to understand their mechanics and how fast they attack. But, let's see here. Let's see if he was blocking off the exit to this place. Oh, well we found the healing area. But we also found those ants again. But let's definitely heal, I think. I think healing would definitely be a good idea. So thank you, Venus. So I guess the crystals aren't going to be orange anymore. Which is not a bad thing. But eh, we'll definitely use Venus's abilities whenever possible. Well, let's see here. Let's definitely check in on the team, though. Um, oh, I know it's January. 
Lord Salem. Oh, I didn't even know they had names, to be honest. But apparently those ants are called Geninary. And apparently the shopkeeper ants with them. Um, oh, if it isn't those peppy explorers. Um, hiya. Um, hey Team Steakmouth, how's it going? Well, it's a bit too hot. Yeah, it's a desert, what'd you expect, bud? Uh, you're traveling to Pipe Root as well, right? Um, yep, we're on a mission to protect the, these merchants. Um, specifically our dear snail. We can fight or run, but this one's pretty wimpy. Aw, oh, poor dude. He looks pretty happy, though. <laughs> so, good thing he has some good protectors. Um, it's been a super good day, though. Easiest mission we've ever had. Well, well, apparently they jinxed it, according to this guy. Hee hee hee, you jinxed it! That seems like a voice for person thieves. Okay, huh. Okay, so we got ourselves a well, team of wasps and some thieves as well, whatever. Is that a ladybug? I think it's a ladybug. Huh, okay. But, weird. Okay. Oh, dang it, Aerie. Oh, bandits. You've got some nerve trying to mug us. Oh, um, dear, it's okay. We can make the money back. Don't get hurt, for... As if, I'd rather go down fighting than yield to these scoundrels. Hmm, you speak brave words for a powerless merchant. This is your last chance to surrender to the Wasp Kingdom. Um, like we let you take it to anything. Um, yeah, it's time to show what we can do. Okay, <laughs> we'll definitely see what you can do. Uh, merchants are so greedy. You can't show just a few things. Now we're gonna have to take it over. Okay. <laughs> um, who those three? Those are the ones from the report. Report, you say? Oh, did the other wasps turn us in? <laughs> uh, would make sense. Don't be a pretty pity. Let's capture him. Uh, you can try, bud. Um, you will keep your vile limbs away from my friends. Um, let's keep their butts. Um, let's get out of here. Yeah, you probably should. But let's definitely deal with these guys. So let's see here. Burglar, thief, wasp scout. Oh, I thought these guys were more important. Okay, well, let me give one or two of them a voice for now. Maybe we'll keep that voice going for these, for this guy and the little wasp guys. But let's see here. Um, do we need to spy them at all? But, hmm. Oh, we can't spy them. Okay, worth a shot, honestly. Let's see here, what's going on with you guys? Might as well, no reason not to, right? So let's see here. Um, ugh, this is bad. Burglars are the worst. I can't believe how fast they tackle. Being so big. They're tough and good at stealing, too. I hate them. Let's finish this quick. Yeah, probably for the best. Let's, see here. let's do another spy and check out the Wall Scouts, since that is something we've never seen either. Oh, uh, scoundrel, I'll give you a chance or treat before Vi knocks you down. No, then face our wrath. Even if you call your for reinforcements, we won't falter. Okay, so apparently the flying guy over there can apparently ask for reinforcements. That's kind of scary, but good to note for later. But let's see here, we're definitely going to need Frigid Coffin on the first one, maybe? So let's see here. X for that. Okay, we trapped him, and then do a nice freeze on him. There we go. Make him waste a couple turns. Uh oh, they stole my item. Don't know if he can steal. Okay, he can't. But apparently the burglar and him can. I'm gonna guess the burglar steals berries while the thief steals items. Um, I kinda want that, but I also... If I hit him, do I get to get the item out of his hand? No. But it still did something. Okay, well... I have an idea. If we go for a turn relay on Vi and knock this guy out of the sky, we can go for a special little pass-through attack here, and actually maybe even knock out the burglar here, and maybe even the thief. Let's definitely try it, it's worth a shot, honestly, so let's see here. Okay, let's go for it. Bing, 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 doom, bam. Barely got that, but apparently four damage for that. Okay. Oh, he's got pebbles. Okay. <laughs> nice try there. Oh, trying to... Uh, okay, I wasn't ready for that one, to be honest. I was not expecting to attack twice, either. Okay, well, um... Well, let's move our team around, and then... Let's see here, let's go to Vi. We need her to knock out two of these enemies, but we also need to make sure to heal her as well. But, that isn't a hard thing to do, actually, because of the fact that we do have Icefall, so let's definitely go for that. 
and try and go for like the middle area. And that got rid of the thief at least. Okay. Other than that, I actually want to go for heal here just because. And we do have a good HP healing item, which is this little leaf omelet, which is made with an egg and a crunchy leaf. But definitely good that we actually have some healing now, because we didn't have that before. But there we go, got double block in there. And no more poison as well. Okay, not bad. It's definitely not the Waff Scout out of the air, because him flying is not a good thing. Just because of the fact that, you know, some of our characters can't attack flying enemies. Or pretty much all of them, but let's be honest here. It's better than doing nothing, right? So, definitely worthwhile to do. Okay, down goes the Burglar. He's calling in for scouts, but that's not a bad thing. Okay, well, from what I can see here, we want to knock the scout out of the sky. And I think maybe we want to knock them out at the same time. That seems like a maybe a good idea, maybe, but I'm not too sure at the same time. But let's keep the other one up, though, and then we'll just deal with this guy first, I guess, and then try and get them even in HP, and then we'll try and go for them at the same turn, maybe. Because I feel like that would work better for us, but I could be wrong, you never know. So far, so good. Okay, they're both in the air again. He's going for a kick, make sure to block that. Not bad. Okay, they're both in the air again, which is technically a problem, but it's technically not a problem at the same time, since obviously we can knock them out of the sky with a turn of the way. But it's definitely going to be interesting though, that's for sure. Change it over to Vi, and then make sure to knock out the... Well, it was thought we were attacking with Vi there, but apparently it was Kabu. Knock him out of the sky, good. Okay, so 6 and 5, not bad. We're getting him even now. And we probably should be able to get both of them in the same turn here in a second, as long as we do the turn right. So, we want to go for Vi first, I think, and then get the guy in the back, I think. And then, I think after that, I think we're good. Yeah, they're both at 3. So, if we go for turn relay here, go to Vi, go for a normal attack. <laughs> Kabu again. I swear, Kabu, you're getting in the way, bud. Okay, let's knock you down. Okay, is that enough to do our skill, though? Don't think so. Yeah, in a sense. That doesn't mean that we're in a bad situation, though. Because we could go for a pebble toss here. Drop you to one. Or, or two, technically. But it does one damage, so it's still doing technically <laughs> technically one. But let's see. So far, so good, though. Okay, and this should be the final turn here. No matter what they do, they shouldn't be able to call for more help here, so we're definitely in a good situation. Change over to buy again, go for a normal attack again, and I think that should be GG, I think. I don't think they would be able to block one damage, let's be honest here. And down goes the wasps, as well as the burglars. GG, 22 experience points, and not bad whatsoever. <laughs> GG game, gotta try harder than that. Mm, blast! We got to go back and report this. Mm, I still get paid right. Hmm, shut it. Let's go. Hmm, you. We won't forget this. Okay. Oh, we'll see you later, Mr. Wasp. Um, huff. That was terrifying. Thank you. No problem. Um, yeah, thanks, Team Snake Mouth. No problem. Oof. We were going to be fine. They were weaklings. Yeah, right. You were bound to run for your life. Actually, you were bound to give all your wares away. Um, you're welcome. Hmm, those wasps are showing up more. Huh. Yeah, they definitely are. That's the second time we've ran into them. Hmm, it's worrying indeed. We should report this as soon as we're able. Um, we're just humble merchants. We can't help too much. But we are so very grateful for your help. This isn't much, but take it. Oh, another crystal berry. Still don't have an ability of using that, but definitely worthwhile, though. Um, bye. Um, whoa. I didn't even need to ask this time. Of course. You won't find merchants in debt with this. Or even. We can keep the merchant safe from here. We're almost at the town. Oh, really? Um, yeah. Don't let us slow you down. Uh, you would never. The thing you will keep coming down. Um, safe travels, of course. Well, thanks. Okay, we're definitely closer to the town, apparently. I wonder if it's right around the corner here. Probably is. But, nope, not right away. But we're definitely getting closer. Um, honestly, I want to cut that. Nope, nothing. Uh, is that a metal? Yeah, it's a metal. What's it doing up there, though? And how do we even get up there? Probably another way up there, probably. We'll probably see it. What's that? Succulent berry? 
These berry, juicy berries quench thirst for hours, restores 2 HP to an ally for 3 turns. Wait. Okay, that's actually kind of cool. Interesting. Is that an arrow worm? Yeah, it definitely is. He's actually kind of... Ooh. Okay, he's very aggressive. Okay, I don't know how we're supposed to hit him, but I think it's probably through Kabu. Let's be honest there, but... It's interesting. This is the first time we've run into them outside of... Well, attacking us wise, but... <laughs> interesting. Okay. Well, noted for later, they maybe use Kabu for him. Probably. Could be wrong, but you never know. Definitely noted for later. Oh, he's going for... Of course he's going for Kabu. And Kabu's low on HP, so it makes sense. Okay, they're both burrowing, but that doesn't mean that we're out of luck, because obviously we can obviously attack them. But let's get the arrow worm out of the way first, because obviously he's more dangerous, in my opinion. And then I guess Kabu, you can give up your turn to Leaf, I think. Because Leaf is our only way of getting rid of these enemies burrowing under the ground at the moment. Maybe we'll get a weapon to maybe bur um, take out other burrowing enemies with other characters, but I'm not too sure about that yet. Could be not, not couldn't be an ability, could not be an ability, you never know. Because we did get the pebble for Kabu, and now Kabu can attack flying enemies, and Leaf can also attack flying enemies. Dude, with skills. But maybe there's a skill maybe we could use to get rid of uh, burrowing enemies? Maybe? Yes, no, maybe, but who knows? I guess we'll find out. But definitely would be cool. Definitely cool if it was an ability. Bridge that's going to the left. And then a sign over here. Let's see here. Watch out up ahead is the border with the Wasp Kingdom. If you're looking for the Demiant Root, head west. Wasp Kingdom, you say? Well, let's take a look. Hello, are you a wasp? No, you're definitely a bee. Hello, bee. What's going on with you? Um, hey, what's a, what is your business at the Lost Kingdom border? Um, we're just passing by. Passing by? This is a border with the far grasslands. Lost territory. Unless you want to start a war, you better get out of here. No one crosses the border on my watch. Um, eat. Let's go, Kabu. Okay. <laughs> well, apparently... That's over there, but apparently we also have a rose mantis over here. That dumb bee won't let me through, Ugg. Huh. I just want to see the Wasp Kingdom. Wonder why. Interesting. Doesn't seem like there's anything good in the Wasp Kingdom, from what we've seen. And knowing Wasp in real life, they're not friendly at all. So, I don't think we'd ever find a friendly Wasp. Maybe we will? That'd be kind of cool, but... Yeah. Basically, on real life, Wasps are angry for... Every single reason they could think of. <laughs> Don't know why they're always angry, but they're definitely angry all the time, let's be honest. But, uh, yeah, definitely when we're com coming out with, like, certain certain uh, bugs out there, that's the most dangerous one, in my opinion. <laughs> it's not dangerous, obviously, but dangerous in case of your everyday, um, like, adventures. You go outside, you're more than likely going to be attacked by a wasp than any other bug, let's be honest there. <laughs> Yeah, definitely do not trust those things whatsoever. But let's remember about the underling. We always have to use a unburrowing attack on them to make sure they stay out of the, out of the ground. And I think that should be enough damage to actually knock them out too. Nope, still a little bit of HP. But we will also get to find out what they do underground. Okay, that's not hard to block. It's really easy actually. Okay, well, you gotta try harder than that, bud. I'm gonna be honest there. Let's definitely knock them out. Three experience points is not bad, but... Definitely worthwhile. I was wondering if there was something back here just because of the, how the grass is placed, but it seems like that's a no. Okay, well worth a shot, honestly. But we do need to move this, though, since we do know we can use our beam ring here. Let's keep that in position for now, and then slow it down to there. Not bad. Make our way past. Um, don't see any enemies, but I do see those rocks again. See, like I was saying, there's a bunch of these rocks around here. Oh, cactus. <laughs> we'll leave them alone for a bit. Just because I want to see if... Oh, I think we're in the Bee Kingdom. Oh, it's good to be back. Hmm, oh, yeah, you're saying you met... You, um, staying here back with Neo. Um, that means we've been neighbors all along. Hmm, life truly is full of small surprises like that, I guess. Hmm, um, cute. Anyways, how do we get to the hive? Um, we just keep going straight. There's a huge elevator there. Elevator? Really? Uh, is it safe? Well, no one's fallen off yet, so it's probably safe. Let's go get this over with already. <laughs> yeah, don't blame me, you don't want to be here at all by it. We can already tell. 
Uh, Venus, please watch over me. <laughs> okay. Well, she definitely will, I think. Got a cool looking chop over here. What's going on here? Hmm, interesting. Oh, it's the one uh, mantis lady we keep seeing. Maki's still gone. I'm starting to get worried. He never takes this long to complete a mission. Maki's missing? Huh. I was kind of wondering what she was meaning by that, but... Interesting, where's Maki then? Hmm. I'm trying to think of places where Maki could be, but... Yeah, I got nothing. Um, I'm sure he's fine. Well, maybe he... Um, shut up, he's fine. Jeez. She freaked out about that one, but for good reason. Um, what is this place? Have a good time before you head out. Best to go, um, to go into a job without any regrets. True. I'm guessing this is maybe the request board then? Yep, definitely. I want a souvenir. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> um, we'll do that in due time, of course, but interesting. Very, very interesting. What's going on with the shop, though? Hey, welcome. What's troubling you? One old sick just passing by. Oh, it's a doctor's office? That's okay. If you're ever feeling bad, drop by. First consult's free. Oh, cool. Okay, so if we're ever feeling not good, we can come to the clinic. Okay, cool. Good to know. First consult's free. Okay, cool. Definitely worthwhile. And is that the same... Oh, yeah, it is. It's the guy that we saw sleeping um, in the... Um, during the Venus Festival. I was wondering if... um, Is that a medal? Yeah, that is a medal, isn't it? Okay, let's see here. There's an upper area to that place. But how do you get up there? Don't see an obvious opening to that, but that doesn't mean that there isn't one. Um, let's see here. Definitely, I think. Oh yeah, we climbed the truck here. Okay, I didn't see that right away. You found a berry juice. Oh, it's not a bit metal, but it's a item. This berry juice is a local fa favorite. Restores five HP to an ally and cures any status effect. Okay, cool. What's up in this building? Um, one of the people we have a request for, but definitely nothing too important, but definitely- Oh, another locked area up here. Interesting. Bunch of keys needed for item- for places. Maybe the ancient key opens that stuff? Because I keep seeing these locked off places, and that's the only thing I can think of maybe what the ancient key could help us with, but at the same time- Maybe there's another key. <laughs> Who even knows, honestly, but it seems like maybe that would lead there, but it's a bunch of interesting looking places here, honestly. What's this? The first pot, when Defiant Root was first founded, many termites and potter wasps came to these lands seeking new soil. The union of those two clay artisan species made to the creation of all the Defiant Root's buildings and our land's famous clay pots. If you are interested, please consider purchasing your very own masterfully crafted clay pot as a souvenir. A perfect home decoration, so you always remember your visit to our proud settlements. Wait, can I actually buy one? Oh, welcome, welcome. This is Defiant Roots' one and only museum. Ancient artifacts are historic pottery. We take pride in all of it. Okay. This. Wait a minute, is that the one game that they played like back in the day? The, the little ball and the tax? I forgot what it's called. But that's definitely. I think that. I don't know what the game is called, though, off the top of my head. It was something I barely even knew because it showed up in, like, a TV show back when I was, like, a little kid. But, huh, interesting. wonder what that's doing in here. Um, well, I don't, I don't even know who was talking there. That was a really weird voice, but I... Who was talking there, honestly? Let's see here. I think it was... Let's see here. Oh, okay, it was him. Okay, so, Sleaf. I wasn't. I didn't see who was talking at first, but hmm, interesting, interesting little town. But I think we're definitely in the Bee Kingdom. I guess there's one way to check. Oh no, we're before the Bee Kingdom, but we're definitely making progress. The settlement was built to house travelers crossing the desert and visit the to visit the village. However, it's gained its own identity as a bustling merchant town. Okay, interesting. Well, let's make our way upwards then. No reason not to, right? Let's see what's really going on in here. Definitely a cool little place, though, for sure. Definitely, this is a shopping district. Don't see anything I need. Is that a baguette? Yeah, it is. Dry bread. Huh. Interesting. Um, some kind of cooking place. Don't need any of that. Apparently, there's a cupcake in there, but don't need any of that at the moment. Yeah, this is definitely just buying stuff. Okay. No reason to come in here yet, just because I don't need any items at the moment. We're doing pretty good. 
but let's make our way to the left, I think, towards the moon, because I think that would lead us more to our direction of where we're actually going, because we're trying to get closer to that bee kingdom, but we still have... Oh, there it is. So there's our elevator. <laughs> they weren't joking on the elevator, but what's going on with this bee? If you keep going down this path, you'll eventually reach the Golden Settlement. Just be careful with the monsters on the way. Oh, really? So this will take us back to the Golden Settlement. Huh. But I didn't see a way to get over there, though. That's interesting. Because when I was over there, I didn't see a opening to the Golden Settlement unless there something was opened. Oh! I think I know where that is. The door in the Golden Settlement with the switch behind it. That must be where that leads. Okay, so now we have a way back from there if we wanted to walk back there. But, what's this? Spiky Bod. Um, when blocking, Kabu would damage enemies that touch him with his horn. Okay, no, no reason not to grab that. I'll definitely take me a free medal. Huh, thanks. Okay, Spiky Bod, new ability for Kabu. That is apparently a real, regular, like, thorns attack for armor. Cool, <laughs> that'll come in handy. Let's make our way to the Bean Kingdom, though. Um, so you've come back, Vi, on a mission. Well, from what I can tell. Uh-huh. Get us up. Sure thing. Hop on, explorers. We're not done talking about your issues, Vi. We're just saving it for later. Oh, drop it. Seriously. I don't want to talk about it. Huh, Vi. Yeah, I don't think Vi needs to talk about it. If she don't want to, then it's fine. I guess maybe she will at some point, but... Eh, it doesn't seem like she wants to at the time being. Or maybe she does, I don't know. That face kind of says a couple of things. But let's see. Look, Vi, even if you don't like them, it can't be that bad. Um, indeed. What would it take if you if they speak poorly of you? Um, haha. <laughs> That's not really going to happen, you know. Hmm, so they don't tease you. Um, just, um, a little bit. Uh, Vi, could it be that Hive has done nothing to you? Um... Ooh, nonsense. Why would she be so unwilling otherwise? Um, he's right. Huh? Nothing? Then why are you mad at them? Um, I am. Um, I didn't do anything. I did. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, then, well, that answers that question. Why? What did you do? Um, my cat sister kept teasing me, okay? Saying exploring to jump for other bugs. That is way too dangerous, and that I couldn't do it. So I got really mad, and said a lot of mean stuff to her, and ran off. Told my boss to shove it. Told the queen she had no idea what I'm capable of. Um, five. Mm, so in the story, you're the mean one. Um, kinda. They had it coming, though. Eh, fair, I guess. Uh, it is. Mm, that's great. All you have to do is say you're sorry, and it'll get fixed. Um, no way. Even if I'm super mean, they still tease me all the time. I'm not gonna say sorry. Uh, not even to your closer sister. It's your family, right? Um, she can say sorry first. I'm not gonna lose after making a big scene. Um, look, this mission's super important, okay? I don't want to talk about this anymore. Hmm, we're almost at the top. You're not off the hook yet, Vi. Eh, I think she is. It doesn't really matter. She doesn't want to make up with her be friends and... So be it, but I can't really try to stop her. Going down, no. Okay, so that's how you get back down. I thought you'd just walk onto the thing, but apparently not. Okay. Well, this is a hive, apparently. Um, what's going on here? Um, greetings, visitors. Please hold still as we scan for impurities. Impurities? Um, what? Okay, then. Do we have any impurities? <laughs> like how Bleep is just ready to attack somebody. Oh, uh, what a scare. Um, huh? Um, huh. You're saying we're not clean or something. Um, it's not that. Hmm. Well, yes, okay. Alright, you've been cleared to pass. Okay, what was that? Huh. You okay there, bud? Nope, okay. <laughs> apparently something happened, but apparently it's not a problem. But there's that Queen Bianca we saw in the mural for before. But we're finally inside the hive, though. First time here, that's for sure. And definitely pretty imposing. Oh, uh, goodness. What a grand welcome. Why mm, is this normal? Um, not really. Uh, what's going on then? Hold it, folks. Uh, okay. What's going on here? Hello. 
the scanner picked up something weird from one of you. Uh, what? Why was it all? Most definitely. Oh, uh, it's leaf, okay? You, dear me, you've caused a scene. Could you come with me? I'll check that out ASAP. Um, you sure you want to trust her, Leaf? Um, yes. Um, we don't have any leads right now. Nothing to lose. Uh, go the way, Doctor. Doctor, you say? Huh, wonder what's going on with Leaf. Must be something important if they're freaking out about it. So, that's what the readings meant. Uh, Doctor's Leaf, okay? According to the test, aging crystal fragments lie within you. If I'm not wrong, you can use magic. Okay, is that a problem? Ooh, yes, after we woke up in Snake Mouth, it just suddenly came to us. Oh, so that wasn't a super bad lie. Ooh, you still doubted us. Uh, given the weirdness of it, I'm talented to healthy skepticism. Magical powers are common side effect of mon a body being linked to these crystals. Wait, so if you eat a crystal berry, you get magic powers? Or is it a different type of crystal? Although there's still something our scanner couldn't identify, something else may be inside your body. Huh? Hmm, something else, you say? Um, if you'd let me put you under for a while, I could look into it. Hmm, put us under. That means you're gonna be going to sleep and they're gonna be scalping you. Um, how about no on that one? You know, fast asleep. Then we explore your insides after cutting. Yeah, not gonna happen. Ooh, what was that? Um, well... Um, what? Uh, leave you this sort of power. Um, probably a new one. Hmm, no, it's weird. We just moved on our own. Sorry, we don't know what happened. We're not too keen to put be put under, however. An involuntary self-defense mechanism. Leaf, was it? Give it some thought. Your condition is fascinating. Um, I'm starting to get really worried. Yeah, I don't trust this dude. Or girl. Because apparently it's... Apparently we can't tell for half these characters, let's be honest here. There's no way I'm going to be able to know every single character's gender, let's be honest here. And I'm not going to... Like, you know, if, if the character says they're a certain way, then I'm obviously going to call them that way. But I, I literally can't tell by face value, I'll be honest here. So, <laughs> definitely... The beard definitely throws me off because bees have beards. And you always forget that. <laughs> and if you look at Bai, you can always, oh, definitely see that. Hmm, don't be. We'll feel fine. Uh, we're getting closer to the truth. Though there's much left to answer. Um, well, I think we'll leave it at that for today. Sorry for distrusting you. Hmm, it's okay, really. Thank you. Um, well, we're going back to be late. To the meeting. Aren't we? Ah, uh, yes, the Ant Kingdom brought the materials for the key replacement rights. I've heard there's four other explorers looking around the hive. Four others? Hmm, wonder who we're gonna find. Could you round them up in front of the throne room? I'll meet you there when I finish some things up. Um, Crow. Crow? Oh, hello, Crow. Um, called me, Doctor. Round up the data, we have work to do. Um, ah, yes, Doctor. Huh, okay then. Interesting. Um, great. A walk around the hive. Hmm, can't be the worst thing we'd like to get to know this place. Leaf can now use bubble shield. Light and metal. Bubble shield light, you say? Huh, wonder why it's called light. But cool, I'll take it. Interesting, new skill for Leaf. Definitely useful. Because now we have a new skill for Kabu and Leaf, but poor Vi is kind of missing some skills here at this point. Wait a minute, wait, that looked interesting. Wait, let me go back. What is this? Detector, a metal made by Dr. H.B. Beebs. If they are interesting objects nearby. Oh, whoa, that metal looks cool. Hmm, let's snatch it. Uh, no, let's see if we can convince H.B. to give us to us somehow. Oh, cool, so there's a couple different things. Can you move from there? Thank you. Spy Specs, a metal made by Dr. H.B. Beebs. Allows the party to see enemy HP without spying. Spying won't spend a turn. That's actually kind of good. But I like doing the spine thing. Um, whoa, that metal looks really cool too. Yeah, definitely does, but interesting. So we can find hidden items and s apparently a scanner for HP. <laughs> okay, we can get a scouter like in <laughs> Dragon Ball. Um, how, would I u how can I use those? I still need some time to process the data. Could you find the other explorers? They should be around the hive somewhere. Looks like that's a no on that. Maybe this guy can help. 
There's so much data of um, sorts through, it feels like I'll never finish this. Hmm, okay, looks like no grabbing the scanners of any sort of time being. Maybe in the future, but you never know. What's going on here? Hello there, welcome to Dr. HB's lab. Your number one stop for weird gadgets. Well, that thing's definitely buggy. <laughs> like, look how much it's freaking out when we look at it. Just look at the letters and stuff, that's interesting. <laughs> okay then, must not be that good of a scientist if he's got some major, major, major bugs and flaws in his, um, scientific wares. Don't know if I trust those scanners now, to be honest, but maybe they're good, you never know. But I think we're gonna end off today's episode here, I think. I think we're in, because we're in a decent location, and we're also in a new place as well. And we made our way to the beehive, so we're definitely making good progress. We made our way through the gigantic desert that we saw there, and maybe even found where the next artifact may be, since the sand castle definitely sounds like a cool place to explore at some point. So definitely noted for later on that one. But with that being said, thank you all for watching today's episode. Have a wonderful rest of your day, keep being spooky, and I'll see you all in the next episode. And in the next episode, we will be making more and more progress in the Bee Kingdom, and seeing what we can do about that core problem, since definitely with the fact that the Ancient Key is their core, we definitely need, do need to get that key. And who knows if it's actually going to help us for opening those weird doors we keep seeing around town, and just in other areas we keep seeing those locked areas with the vines. Don't know if that key's for that, could be, but you never know honestly. But with that being said, thank you all for watching, have a wonderful rest of your day, keep being spooky, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace. Hey boys and girls, thank you all for watching today's episode. If you liked what you saw today, please leave a like and maybe even subscribe. And hit the bell notification down below. If you guys have any kind of suggestions for games, please put that in the comments down below as well. Thank you all for watching today's episode, and keep being spooky. Peace out guys.